The Ruger PC9 carbine is a really popular firearm, and guys, I'm telling you, everybody that's reviewing these just loves it. I mean, there's so many great features. I'll have the full review annotated right here for you to check out. Uh, but what I wanted to do was just do a disassembly video so you could kind of see the details. It was going to make my full review video just way too long. And then at the end, I'm going to re-show how to change the magwells out from the Ruger mag to the Glock mag conversion, which is included. And so there's a lot of really cool features about this. And I'll tell you guys, if you're looking for a 9mm carbine, this is a great one to look at. Of course, we're going to go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded, drop our magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. Now we're going to disassemble the rifle, bring back your bolt, engage your bolt stop, take the barrel, turn it counterclockwise. We're going to take our fore end off, just take your 532 wrench. Again, this, this bolt is captive. Now you have your barrel assembly. Release your bolt. Take out your charging handle. Now we're going to remove the screws again from the stock, and this is holding in your receiver. Now the receiver just comes right out. Now very similar to the 1022, you have two pins right here. We're just going to push them out. And then we bring out our trigger group. It's very simple. You can see just a polymer housing. Now right back here at the back of the bolt, you see this little plate. We're just going to pull this up. And then we just remove our bolt. Next, we're just going to remove our recoil spring and guide rod. Right here is our extractor, and it's held in by this little pin. There's a spring, so just put your finger over the extractor, and we're going to push that through. Now we can pull out our extractor. Next, we're going to take the bolt face, and we're going to push it down. And it's going to release these two pins right here. So I'm just going to bring it over. I'm going to press it down. And there they go. There's not a lot of movement. It's just a little bit on the bolt face. Next, we're just going to pull that bolt face right out. Now here's your firing pin and firing pin spring. Go ahead and pull those out. You can see this spring just fits at the front. Here we have a tungsten weight for the blowback action. We can just drop it right out. Now let's reassemble, drop in our weight. We're going to just do it in reverse order. Firing pin, firing pin spring. Now we're going to reinsert the bolt face. You'll notice that this flat area corresponds with the flat area up here. We have a little cup at the back, so we're going to just get it set. It should just push. There should be a little bit of spring tension right here, and that's going to allow us with it pressed to drop in these two pins. Once they're in, we can release the bolt. It's going to hold that into place. Next, we're going to insert our extractor spring. Take your extractor, and the hole corresponds with this hole. Go ahead and get that lined up. Once you have clearance, I press toward the back to get a good fit, just like that. Take our recoil spring and guide rod, just like this. Next, take your bolt, slide it in to press your recoil spring, slide it just like that. Next, you want to return your trigger group into those corresponding holes. Now, there's not really a lot of tension on these pins because the stock holds them into place. They should just go right in. Now return your receiver into the stock. Go ahead and tighten down your screws. Next we're going to replace our charging handle. Pour into the barrel. Go 
it's really simple guys I know it looks a little more complicated than it is but once you get the hang of it it's not a big deal especially but if I can do it behind this camera you guys can do it bring back our bolt take the barrel assembly there we go it's locked into place and we're good to go now I'm going to show you how to change out your magwell First thing you want to do is to bring the bolt back, make sure the gun is unloaded. Of course, there's no magazine. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and bring our bolt back and engage the slide stop right there. That's going to hold the bolt in place. Then just grab hold of the barrel, turn counterclockwise, and you can pull the barrel assembly right out. Next, we're going to release our bolt. We're going to put a 530 seconds wrench, and there is one provided, but we're going to use this Bondus. We're going to take off our charging handle. Next, right here, 530 seconds, go ahead and remove this bolt. Now this bolt is captured, and so it'll unscrew from the receiver, but it's retained in the stock. Get the rear bolt as well. And then your whole assembly will come right out. Now here's your mag well, and you want to hit the mag release button and you can just pull out the existing mag well. Then you can replace your mag well assembly, making sure that you have the mag release pressed. And that's it guys, it fits right in there. Now bring your receiver back into place. And tighten down your screws. Get your charging handle back into place. Bring our bolt back and engage our stop. Take your barrel assembly and it's back in business. Release your bolt. And now we can take the Ruger mags before we had in the Glock mags. It's a really simple process. So again, guys, check out the full review of the PC9 carbine. And again, I want to thank Midwest Industries. Uh, we did a review on their rail system for the PC9. And I didn't have a PC9, so they sent it for the test and evaluation. And so it allowed me to go ahead and do a full review on the Ruger PC9. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Get the, the right Good thing. Here, this is dead. Also, hold it. Huh? Average size. Yeah, they hold it. Well. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say? <laughs> well, I'm saying I'm too short, <laughs> and well. <laughs> and I'm too tall. Oh, yeah. And I get it. That's all. Right. <laughs> Call okay, me Seth. Yes. Barrel over there. Piece right there.